Hey guys, it's Doc. And I'm Yo, and I'm a person. And I'm Rocky the Rock. And it's also awesome. Mm -hmm. So you're a Yo, you're a human, and Rocky, you're a rock? Oh, okay. So, a human rock star. A human rock star, oh, okay. Yeah, hey, EO, what are we here uh, doing today? We're gonna review the Batman Series 1 vinyl collectible stuff. I don't know. Stuff? Yeah. So, toys. That's, that's toys. Yeah. We're also gonna unbox them. Okay, so yeah. we're gonna unbox them. So where are you guys today? Do you remember what the name of this park yeah, is? Yeah, the Park. Yeah. park. Uh, it's some, park. It's some, no, it's, it's not your little regional. Regional is much bigger. No. Um, this Jeff is a small Samuel park in, in your Belinda. Oh, ja Samuel okay. West yeah, Park. Yeah, Jacinian West Park. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's... Okay, I've never known that, so that's the first time I've actually seen it, Doc. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So, we're filming on a windy day, and um, we are going to reveal this thing. So, let's unbox it, and we're also going to do another challenge. Did we bring the bean visual to this? Nah. I'm, t I'm getting tired of eating bean boozles. They're making yeah, me right. sick. Let's, not, let's do a challenge on another one. again, if you've seen our videos, is that we have to open these as quick as we can, as soon. Nah. Right? No, We're not going to do it on this. Nah, let's not do it on this one. Let's do it on a, on a Minecraft. Yeah. On the it's Minecraft a one. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So this is not going to be a speed challenge. Let's, let's do a speed challenge on some more Minecraft ones that we yeah. got today. So, anyhow, in, on, in honor of the Batman and Superman movie, Dawn of Justice. We, did you guys just all see that? Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about that in a moment. But we all seen that movie, all five of us, and in honor of that, we actually got Batman and Robin here. Now, was Robin in the movie? No. no. There's no spoiler alert or anything like that with that, so Robin wasn't in the movie. But what we did is we pulled out a couple of these. I have two of these. So these belong actually to me uh, that I bought a while ago, actually, uh, a few months ago. But, um... I'm considering not buying any more of these. We have to see. We're going to open them up. I usually don't open up my own stuff. Um, I usually leave them in the box. We're going to open these up today, but I'm already a little bit concerned that I don't like them as much as the normal, traditional Funko Pop. Yeah. So we're going to do kind of a compare and contrast, right? Yep. yep. So that's why we brought along this Gogo um, Tamago. Um, I've ne have you guys seen this movie? What yeah, movie is yeah. it? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you guys went and saw it without me. I've never even seen it. Mm. I just got some of these because I thought they're cool. If you like them, stick around because I got more of these. And we'll do with the kids a uh, review and we'll unbox them as well too. <laughs> but I brought this along to open up and we're going to compare it to these three. Uh, dorbs. Dorbs. So these are called dorbs, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. and they're made... The, by the same creator, which is Funko. Okay, so let's see the bottom of one of those, Rocky. Okay, so you can see here it says Vinyl Sugar, but if you look at the address as well too, it's going to be the same address that As is over here. See Everett Washington 1202. These are both made by Funko. These are, but they're called Vinyl Sugar, um, and they're in association with you know DC Detective Comics and so forth. So um, if you're thinking that these are a different company, um, they're not. They're Funko as well too. But um, why don't you guys go ahead and start opening them up as I kind of continue to talk and and um, El is also going to show us all of these are series one so it says it right on the box and he's going to show us the side of the box which actually has i don't know there's like 12 of them that are in oh my God. this uh series one so okay 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 there you I go careful oh my yeah. God, little window popped off yeah see so we're going to talk about the window as well too that's what got me kind of going you can keep the boxes there but i'll take the inside plastic area away from you guys there you go this is the you can leave. You can leave it in there. You can leave yeah, those pieces we'll in there. Yeah, glued on like this. So oh, you, okay. So I'll actually steal. Wow, it's windy. Oh, so Eo, windows. let's take a look at the side of your box there. Okay, so this is there is actually twelve figures in series one. That would include, oh my gosh, Batman, Robin, um, Batgirl, Batgirl, Joker, Harley Quinn, Penguin, Catwoman. Poison Ivy, the Riddler, Scarecrow. I don't know who number thirty-five is. I have this one, and now I ha a yeah. croc. That's Killer Croc. Killer Croc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I got him because he's in one of my favorite comics. Um, we, so uh, I do have that one. We'll show that one another day. Is and lastly, and then 
modern I'm, Batman. I guess. Yeah, okay. Isn't he in That's the, what I was Killer Croc, isn't he in the new Sinister Six movie? Yeah, you guys went and saw yeah, that movie without yeah. me as well, too. We didn't see the Sinister Six. We didn't see the movie. No, no, no. Um, the, um, the, the, um, spot. <coughs> well, I'm sorry, we're oh, not I'm thinking about, about I'm thinking about Spider Man right no, now. No, he's oh, in the that's Suicide Squad. That's Little Okay, that's yeah. Lizard. See, DC and Marvel are different. Yes, I. Thank you. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a mind blower. Thank you. Master the obvious yeah, over here. Batman and Dark Shadow. Okay, so let's close this box up right here, Piper. Yeah. And yeah. we're not going to review yeah. this one really too much today. Um,. It's just a, a compare and contrast. So we'll talk about it in detail another day. All right. So I want to get to some facts real quick. Um, the people who actually invented Batman are Bill Finger, Bob Kane, Baldini, Paul Dini, and Bruce Tim. And the first appearance was in Detective Comics number 27 yeah. in May 1939. So Batman is really old. And um, I think his name is Bruce Wayne because everybody knows the name Bruce Wayne. Wayne. Yeah. And for Robin, let me hold it up to the camera. Robin is Bill Finger, Bob Kane, Jerry Robinson, and those are the three people who created Robin. And his first appearance was a year later in Detective Comics number 38, okay. April 1940. That's close. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so they brought him on. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you talking about? I'm the real Batman. Get out of here! You know, you know what's, like a girl. what's funny no, a real to Batman. explain what we why I ordered two of these blue ones. I didn't. I guess I hit the wrong button or something. But I was supposed to have this the number 36 black one, Whoa. the modern day one. And I guess I pressed the wrong button or they sent me the wrong one. I don't know. Oh, but man. I wanted both of the colors, and I thought the black one was better. So anyhow, it is um. Modern. Robin looks really cool there. I don't really know about Batman. Can, can I feel it there, Rocky? Oh, can it's I actually like, move its like head? Round. Okay, so you can. Does his head go all the way around? Or? Let's see. Yes, 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 indeed. I do not want to snap him, so just, you know, return him. Okay, does that head go around there, Rocky? Be careful. My cape moves okay. a little bit, not too much. It's a little bit kind of spongy. Look at, look at, look yeah. At, in the dark shadow, of trying to hide. Okay, now let's look at uh, Go Go here. Does her head go all the way around? Uh-huh. Okay. And, um... So let's see. Let's, let's see. Okay, there you go. Okay, does the shield go up? This? Yes. I already tried. No, it does not. Okay. I wish it was, like, That'd a be button. awesome. Because, yeah. Oh, no. That's I what wish I was hoping. was a button. That's what I was hoping for, but, Man, that's um... Taller. Okay, yeah, let's put them down on the ground and let's see their height. Okay, down. so let's put let's them all... Let's do the best of will Batman this stand, Will this one stand up? Let it go. Okay. It's kind of windy. It does stand up barely, but uh -huh, you not that much, but it's pretty. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Oh, and I've been okay. wondering, she's a girl. Okay. So, um, Piper, if you had your choice between this size and this style of the Funko Pop or the 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 dwarves, which would you pick? Uh, I would pick Funko. Oh, oh, they're both Funko. Uh, Just Funko, Funko yeah. Pop, right? Uh, Funko Rocky? I would get the Pop toys because this one's like taller and they're like the same price. So, and this is kind of like... Yeah, and they're um, really cool. They have great yeah, designs. Yeah, so this one is better, so I would say this one. Yeah, okay. And, uh... Mr. E. L. The thinker. Think the thinker. Okay, Just skip them. How about yeah. how about uh, pop. You, I like them. All okay, so you like the Funko like Pop. What, which is, which is it uh, that made you kind of veer towards the traditional Funko Pop with the Dorbs? Well, look at this. Like they do have detail. Like for example, like this. The Batman also has this, and he has the cape and everything. But this, like. Uh, Piper said has more design you can see yes. that it is like even the hair color the hair color I mean let's, let's see the bottom of its head okay so that's kind of like its hair sticking out yeah or her, excuse me her hair sticking yeah, out yeah okay. that's even the skin because it's a mask it, it's it's like it's like chibi meets <laughs> skinny meets 3d um chibi. printers Whoa. meets world not meets king. Gotcha. Topics. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm with you. I'm with you right now. All right. Um, let's look at the back of uh, that box right there. Go, go. Okay. So, which box do you guys like better? This taller Funko traditional box or the Dorbs box? This one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, everyone. Which figures did you want, like, EL? Come on. Give me a quick decision, baby. You're, you're a man. Dorbs. 
Okay, you prefer the Dorbs. Day. Okay, any reason why or just the looks itself? Just probably the looks. I mean, okay. like, Go Go looks, I don't know, skinny. Why? Okay. You're the betrayer, CEO! All right, so everybody everybody chose the larger box. And yeah. Now, yeah, this is kind of a compare and co contrast here because the reason why I'm doing this is because I bought all these and they cost me about the same amount of money. I'm going to strongly say, mom, dad, if you're out buying kids toys or whatever, to seriously look at this, the, the larger Funko Pop traditional size over the smaller Dorbs. A few reasons in my opinion, these are larger. And this is this is not the biggest one. I have another one that's actually a lot bigger. Uh, Fred, Does Fred, it and it's re and Fred's very very heavy. Yeah. Um, the so detail yeah. that goes into these is is in in my opinion a little bit better. The paint couldn't be better on these, but hey, still I mean for it's amazing seven eight nine bucks. I still am gonna choose these. So anyhow, that's about all what these all cost. Somewhere around eight dollars for all of them. Uh, hold them up there guys so I can get a better angle of them. Each of you hold one up. There you go. Um, let's see the back of them as well too. And then now the box. All five of us choose the larger Funko Bob box that uh, this go-go came in. The, the, um, the shield here, the visible shield here is much better for display. These things keep popping. They keep popping out. These, I, know, I don't I, know. Like, I opened it and then um, the two of them like just popped Robin out. And, like, so I don't understand how I can get those to stay like, you know, stuck together. Robin got his haircut. Wait, they got haircuts. What the heck? You get it? Because, you know, they, yeah, I just have around. to say that Robin's hair is on point. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm just, yeah, yeah. No, no. Robin. Which you guys prefer better, Robin or Batman? Robin. Batman. Robin. 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 Okay, so you went with Batman, Batman but I'm going Batman. with Robin too. Batman. I think modern Batman and Robin would be pretty equal. Cool. Yeah. Yes. It's just the difference is only that they're colored differently. I know, yeah. but, but Robin has more detail. Robin looks so cool because. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, also these boxes, they seem like they damage easier as well too. Let yeah. me see the Robin box. Where the, okay, I already put that Robin, one away. Robin, 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 is that, Robin. Yeah, see, yeah, so look at the side of it. Is that copyrighted? Yeah, this thing got kind of beat up in shipping. Um, I don't know, I just think that these ones are a little bit um, better made. So anyhow, I'm laboring the point. If you only have uh, eight, nine, ten dollars to buy one of the others of these, definitely consider buying these. And you can always, you know, usually get these at Puzzle Zoo, um, yeah. they're around and in, inside the malls, and oftentimes they have sales on certain ones. So try to find these on sales. These are Series One, and I don't think I don't think Series Two is out. But um, Dorbs, they're kind of cute. If you like the smaller size, then yeah, you would probably be interested in the Dorbs. But um, they're a good, nice hard plastic. Hey, you smoke. Not so, that squishy, except for the cape. Yeah. yeah, the cape has a little bit of squish Which to it. Which is good. So, I'm going to give this a not recommended. Okay, you're going to go not recommended on this. Doc, what are you going to do on this? Recommended. Okay, um, you? Recommended for this. Okay, and on these? Um, not that much recommended. Okay. <laughs> Me? Yes. Recommended and recommended, because if you want this, then you want the smaller kind. But if you oh, want this, definitely. you want the bigger kinds. I understand it totally. Yeah. EL? I'd say not recommended for this just because of its price. Yep. Ranging because it's, you know, smaller. Mm -hmm. But for this, I'd range recommended because it's bigger, nice box, you know, all that stuff. Okay, I totally agree with, I'm going to recommend these. And I own a number of these, but I never opened them up. I bought them all at the same time, and I, I wish I wouldn't have. Um, I'm not going to recommend these for the money. I definitely would say be putting my money into more Funko Pop. And if you watch our channel, everybody loves loves the larger Pop. Funko Pop. Yeah. So, yeah. This, is our yeah. first, this is our first time yeah. ever buying a bunch of these. And I, I got like, I don't know, seven, hey, the eight. window broke. And yeah, look at these. These windows just don't stay. And look at how nice these are. But anyhow, again, we're laboring the point. What did you guys think? Any guys, any thoughts about the Batman versus, um, versus Superman, Superman, Donna Justice? It was amazing. It introduced Super a great. new character to the, like, in total. That's what in I mean. Batman versus Superman, they came together and they made a movie. They introduced Alex Luthor, which is Superman's nemesis. Mm -hmm. And they also introduced Doomsday, oh, which yeah. is um superman's actually in funeral for a friend yes yeah. the way superman actually died was by doomsday mm -hmm. yeah. and he didn't die by doomsday but... um 
I don't know how that ended because we uh, didn't read all the comics. Yes, I, I did. I, obviously, if you're listening to us, there are some spoilers and so forth, but we're not going to be too concerned about it. Um, I thought the movie was really dark, especially as far yeah. as Superman as well, too, because really what they had to do to make Superman kind of look a little bit on the darker side is they had to make Batman have the dreams. So usually when you did see um, Superman kind of angry and kind of a, the dark side of him, which he's not dark, um, it's, it was in Batman's dreams. So in other words, it's not reality. So that's how they were able to pull that off and make that oh, seem like there's yeah. more of a conflict between Batman and Superman. And Superman doesn't really have a conflict too much throughout the movie. It's really more of Batman's idea of what Superman yeah. can do. Um, and what he could bring about and that has a lot to do with the start of the movie as well too when he's in like an intergalactic kind of fight right at the start of the movie so a lot of people won't really understand that Batman is in a, or excuse me Superman's in a fight and what's going on with that right mm -hmm. so I think that's gonna pass by some of the, uh, the the younger kids that are actually watching that movie but overall I mean did you guys enjoy the movie um, yeah, the movie was, was action absolutely amazingly great it was like Directed worth by it, Michael Bay, except <laughs> more fire instead of explosions. And then, like, mm -hmm. George Lucas came in and then he, like, twisted it with, like, yeah. like Star Wars yeah. stuff. The, like, with the prologue. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the prologue was, like, I don't know, but he mixed it in with other parts of the actual, what actually happened. Mm -hmm. Yep. Which was really yeah. brilliant. It was so. So, if you guys were, if you guys were also wondering where that storyline came from, um, as far as I know, the Batman storyline part of it is not really involved in the, you know, uh, death of Superman, the, which is, and the um, integration of um, Doomsday in the movie. Doomsday's first appearance is Man of Steel 17, I think it's 1991, it's just a cameo, and then Man of Steel 18 is his first full appearance. So if you're hunting those down, I sold those about two years ago, those comic books. If you're hunting those down, those are the two books that you want. Superman 75 was 1991, I believe, too. And that's the black poly bag, and that's his death. And then kind of his resurrection is like, I don't know what it is. That's in like uh, like 976. It's it's a white poly bag one. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Yeah, great. That's awesome. I think you guys did really, yeah. really good um, with, with this review. And you guys really said that you enjoyed the movie, right? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Okay, awesome. So uh, it looks like we'll see, be seeing you guys in more Funko Pop videos, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. See you guys later. Bye. 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 B